So Beltane blessings. Mm. Mm. Time of the potency of nature burgeoning with life and greenness. Like every day the leaves are more fully out and the blossoms are opening and we can really feel nature rising and awakening and mm. coming in, into yeah, into fullness. A bit like this May blossom. So we're going to tune into that energy of the time of year. And um, should we just begin with a dance? Mm. Yeah. So Jelani and I were just talking about this particular dance and um, how it could reflect what's happening. So the words are kudus Allah hai. Kudus Allah hai. And then ya hai ya huk. Ya hai ya huk. La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. So kudus, often translated as holy or divine spirit, but also. Um, it comes from a root which really is about making space for something else to come in. And we were just talking about how if there wasn't space in the land, in the earth, then from things dying off in the winter, then there wouldn't be, it wouldn't be possible for new growth, new plants. So we can think of that in our own lives too. Kudus, making a space and making that space sacred really through our intention. And then um, Hai. 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 Divine life, divine spirit, life force. And Huk. Huk. Divine truth or the manifestation of that life force through us, through manifested beings in this dimension, in this material existence. Huck. And then, La ilaha illallah. La ilaha illallah. Nothing exists that is not part of the one. All life, all truth, all manifestation. So that's me, you, the May, and everything else. Kudus, <laughs> <laughs> kudus,
on uh, Kudus Alahai, we are doing this rowing motion, stepping forward on the right foot, back on the left as we pull. Imagine that we're pulling the oars, hands in a circle, pulling backwards, then down as we come forward, pulling backwards and upwards as we step back. So that's on Kudus Alhai. We just continue with that. And then on Yahai, Yahuk, we're going to be stepping forward for Yahai, raising our hands, really stretching them out, connecting to divine life force, throwing them upwards. Yahai, Yahuk. So step forward on Yahai and then step back on Yahuk bringing our hands down firmly towards our palms, facing the earth in this gesture of manifestation. Ya ha, ya huk. Turn to the right. La ilaha illallah. Stepping forwards. Ya ha, back. Ya huk. To the left, turn. La ilaha illallah. Wonderful. We're doing it in A minor. So, just beginning by rowing, starting gradually clearing that space and then probably bringing the energy up a bit. Kudus, kudus, school. 
attention back to the breath as we finish. Feeling our feet on the ground. Noticing our life force in our body, this manifestation of the divine on earth. Amen. Amen. Yahai yahak. having these here. No, I do too. It's really nice. I like being in a bush. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, this beautiful May blossom and I was just thinking as I sat down and looked at them again, I just love this time of year. It's just so, oh, so luscious and gorgeous mm. and mm. and uh, encouraging, you know, life returning. We really can see it and feel it and oh, it's just, yeah, beautiful. So um, we've got a couple of old favourite Beltane dances that we'd like to do. They only get to come out at this time of year. So words in English. The fires of Beltane kindle the night, reflecting the green man's glance. The fires of Beltane kindle the night, reflecting the green man's glance. His lady, the queen of the May, delights us all with her spiral dance. His lady, the Queen of the May, delights us all with his, with, with her. her spiral dance. Follow me to the source of all, he says. I am eternal fire. Follow me to the source of all, he says. I am eternal fire. Come with me to the source of all, she says. I am your heart's desire. Come with me to the source of all, she says. I am your heart's desire. And if any of you were on our session the other day when we were working with the planets, it's quite fun to to feel the sun and the maybe a, a bit of the Mars of, of the green man and the Venus of his lady, the Queen of the May, mm -hmm. this um, beautiful bringer of beauty, um, the, the bringer together. The, the lover of the lover of loving really anyway here's the melody this is how it goes c major are you going to play for this one yeah thank you the fires of beltane kindle the night reflecting the green man's glance his lady the queen of the may delights us all Follow me to the source of all, he says, I am eternal fire. Come with me to the source of all, she says, I am your heart's desire. The fires 
of Beltane kindle the night, reflecting the green man's glance. His lady, the queen of the May, delights us all with her spiral dance. Follow me to the source of all, he says, I am eternal fire. Come with me to the source of all, she says, I am your heart's desire. <laughs> Lovely, we'll have that one. Very good. So yeah, just a, a mention of the fires of Beltane. You know, one of the meanings of Beltane is pure fire. It's this, uh, the fire of purification. And uh, traditionally fires were lit at this time of year, the, this Celtic festival in uh, early May. Um, the purification of the house by putting out the fire and rekindling it from the Beltane fire. Often two fires were lit and the cattle would be driven between the fires to purify them. This is the time of the year when the cattle were put out to pasture, having been kept indoors or close to the farm over the winter. And actually the cows have just arrived in the field next to us here. So it's still happening at this time of year. Mm. So, um, yes, anything else I need to say? I think that's it. Let's just do it. <laughs> So, inviting you to take partners with your right arms and we'd be, we'll be spinning, it's quite an active dance this, so you can of course modify it to suit you, but you can choose somebody off the screen or you can invite someone to dance with or you can dance with the green man as you like. So we're taking right arms and spinning to the right to start with. The fires are melting, kindle the night, reflecting the green man's And then we take left arms with another partner and we go the other way with the Queen of the May. So we're, we're dancing with the masculine and the feminine in us, these twining energies of, uh, that come together at this time of year in fertility. So going to the left. His lady, the Queen of the May, delights us all with her spiral. And then the green man strides forward in all his masculine power and strength. Follow me. You know, somebody has to be the instigator and set things going. Follow me to the source of all. I am eternal fire. And we do this big clap on the fire or before that in the space. I am eternal fire like this. Follow me to the source of all. He says, I am eternal fire principle gathering us bringing us together come with me to the source of all she says I am your heart's desire come with me to the source of all she says I am your heart's desire so feeling these energies as they spiral within us So he's experimenting with G6 and G7. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, these spiraling energies within us, the, the, the energy of, of positivity and fire and um, leading the way, follow me. And also the, the softness, the inclusion, the spiral dance of the, of the, yeah, the, the Queen of the May. Come with me. Here we go, turning to the right clockwise. The fires are belting, kindle the night, reflecting the green man's glass. Away. This lady, the queen of the May, delights us all in the spiral dance. Follow me to the source of all, he says, I am eternal fire. Come with me to the source of all, she says, I am your heart's desire. says, I am eternal fire, come with me to the source.
source of all, she says. I am your heart's desire, I voices. The fires are burning, kindle the burning. to feel our heart's desire, our longing, because this is what will lead us to the source of all. Blessed be. Blessed be. So we've got another dance which will give us some more time to feel this um, heart's desire, this yearning of our hearts. Because really, this is what so many traditions tell us when we follow what we love, when we follow our heart's yearning, that's the way home. So another one of our beautiful favorite Beltane dances, the wheel of the year is turning. The wheel of the year is turning. And the Beltane fires are burning. And the Beltane fires are burning. So give your hand. So give your hand. And take your brand. And take your brand. To kindle your own hearth's yearning. To kindle your own hearth's yearning. So I referred to this a few minutes ago. Um, that the, the fires in the house would be put out at this time of year and a new fire lit from the 
Beltane from the pure fire, the uh, the new the new growth, the new beginnings of the year, and sense of purifying after the winter. And so this great big fire would be lit in, in the community, and people would come and take a burning brand from that fire, take it back to their home and use it to kindle their hearth again. And there's this lovely play on words with hearth and heart. So we can kindle our hearth, but we can kindle our heart's yearning as well. So taking, giving your hand and taking your brand to kindle your own hearth's yearning. Heart's yearning. Here's how the melody goes. The wheel of the year is turning and the belt and fires are burning so give your hand and take your brand to kindle your own heart's yearning Yes, but um, I mean it's okay. It's it, more of a surprise. Isn't it? <laughs> I think it's okay because I think otherwise it's uh, well. We could, yeah, okay, do it. Yeah, do it there. Find a good, comfortable pitch where I can sing my heart out. <laughs> the wheel of the year is turning, and the Beltane fires are burning. So give your hand and take your brand to kindle your own heart's yearning. Lovely. Does that feel more comfortable? So I remember dancing this in a, in a big tent full of people, many of many groups of people, and we would take hands in our group and make a wheel, and we would be turning with this wheel of the year. So we can't quite get that effect on Zoom, but you can perhaps imagine this very ancient sense of reaching out our arm as the spokes of a wheel with the hub in the middle where our hands meet. And as this wheel turns, you know, um, this, uh, this connection with the turning of the earth, the turning of the seasons, the turning of the wheel of time, the wheel of the year is turning and the Beltane fires are burning. So we're just doing that clockwise turning. Um, I think we'll just do that on our own, but um, remembering that we are not alone. We are connected in our community like this so we can be reaching out to our community even as we turn. The wheel of the year is turning and the belting fires are burning. So then we give our hand into the circle. We, we join this hub of the wheel, giving our hand into the fire to, and then taking the brand, this burning spark of life, of new fire, new life, new beginning. So give your hand and take your brand. So there is this new fire. And then we use this to kindle our heart's yearning, bring it into the heart. And it's just a moment to be moving freely on your own, feeling your heart's yearning. What is it that you're longing for in this moment or as we move into this next part of the wheel of the year what's your heart yearning for to kindle your own heart's yearning so there's quite a little space there there's a bit of music in between before we begin again and find maybe a new community you know it could be reaching out to another you know some people a group of people that you feel connected to as to, to move through the wheel of the year 
or maybe coming back to the same group. Let's try it. The wheel of the year is turning and the belting fires are burning so give your hand and take your
So staying in this quiet space, in this awareness of your heart's yearning. Let's take a few breaths to feel into what is it that my heart is yearning for. And then in a moment, I'm going to pause the recording. So if you're watching this at a future date, pause the video and just give yourself a chance to share, maybe to write down what your heart's yearning for at this time. Do that again for the benefit of the recording. <laughs> May the fires of Beltane kindle your hearth's yearning, your heart's yearning. May your heart's desires be filled. So may it be. So in our last dance, we were, not the last one, the one before, we were really connecting with the, um, the, the kind of polarities of energy that are around at the moment. Um, so the strong, sun-like, green man, masculine, and the gentle, inclusive, loving femininity of the Queen of the May. We've got a couple of dances to close our session, which look at how those energies come into relationship within us and between us. So there's a dance associated with this time of year, which isn't done so very often. It uses two ancient names from the third millennium BCE. So that's like 5,000 years ago, I guess. Mm. Anyway, 4,000 years ago. Inanna and Damuzi. Inanna, Damuzi. So these are archetypal lovers so there's a beautiful poem, a prayer. I'd like to read a Sumerian hymn, which comes from that time, third millennium BCE. And if you let these words wash over you, they really... Um, speak to me of this time of year thinking of the birds and the uh, the birds and the bees actually i was thinking <laughs> we've got bees in our garden and uh, and all of the blossoms and the the fruit um, the blossoms and the flowers plants growing inanna says wild bull pulsing single eye of the whole land I want to fulfill all your needs. I want to force your master to wage justice in the royal place inside. Leave no voice unheard. Leave nothing undone. I want to make your seed grow to fullness in my mansion. You like to read them, Uzi. Mm. Uzi says, Inanna, your breast is an open field. Your wide open spaces gush with greenery, like a freely spreading meadow flowing with grain. Your deep waters pour down on me like bread from the source. Water flowing and flowing, bread and understanding from on high. Release the flood for its desired goal. I will drink it all from you. So 
so all of the fertility of this time of year, all of the growth, all of this cycle of regeneration that we see around us in the earth, mating, procreating, growing. And it all has its basis really in relationship. And this dance helps us to experience some of the journey that we go through in relationship. How our protectors step in and we can veil ourselves and hide or at times we can be wide open and then veiled again. So this is a dance of the opening and closing of the veils. How much are we able to be who we are and to show who we are in relationship? So here's the melody. In a So in our relationship with our inner parts, our inner world, as, um, as the prayer says, you know, longing for justice in the royal place inside, no voice unheard. So there are parts of ourselves that we are very familiar with, some of which make us feel comfortable, some of which make us feel uncomfortable. How do we open and close to those parts of ourselves as well? So, you know, we can really work with relationship here and where whatever feels up for you right at the moment, whether there's an individual interpersonal relationship that you're working on or whether it's to do with these inner relationships, being able to be more comfortable and at peace with our inner community um, so you'll you'll know what's most relevant to you right now so the movements and i said it's a dance of veiling and unveiling so i'll just show you while i'm up close we begin with the hands cupped with the right hand underneath above our heads and the veil closes with this snaking movement coming down and we finish with the hands cupped at the belly with again the right hand underneath. So the veil is down. And then to open, we begin again to the right, opening the veil, lifting it, ending up with the veil open. Always the movement begins to the right, closing with the palms facing myself, opening with the palms facing out. So I'll just stand up and show you how that looks when you can see all of me. So this is like when we first are drawn to somebody 
an inner part of ourselves or somebody that we know, um, often the first thing that happens is we're open, but then, ooh, the veil comes in because we're not sure about showing ourselves. And then as we get to know them a little bit, the veil opens, we feel this connection, we're sharing, we're free to relate, and then maybe something happens and the veil comes down again. And then maybe at that point we begin to think, oh, maybe I'll get to know somebody else instead. <laughs> and the veil comes up again <laughs> as we're looking for connection and relationship. And then the first thing that happens with this new relationship is the caution, the veil coming down. So it's this constant moving of the veil up and down, opening and closing, just really being aware of that dance within us of how how open we can be, how much we're able to show ourselves and how, you know, sometimes it's not safe. The veils are not a bad thing. It's just like, it's just being conscious of what's happening. So we know, oh, in this moment, I'm veiled. In this moment, I'm showing myself and I have the power to choose to change that. So as we do that with the move, with the melody, it looks like this. And actually, I'll, I'll show with Salit because this would be a partner dance, but we'll do it in a bit of a different way with the Zoom. We'll just come a bit closer, please. That's it. So we're, we're uh, actually, sorry, no, <laughs> let's just step back a minute. That's right. We need to just, just watch for now. Um, we need to, so we're beginning with this stepping forward to each other, but with this slight caution, we're not sure how this is going to go. So it looks like this. In and then we're going to be in relationship with each other. So we're going to make half a turn together and opening to each other. In and then something happens. In no, you don't want me to move. <laughs> in relationship but we're veiled to each other and then we might begin to think about relating to somebody else or, or maybe a new way so we're going to turn back to back so in this position we're able to maybe step in another direction anyway that's the full dance but for now just just work with that veiling with yourself and as i say i really invite you to consider your inner community and which parts of you you're you're comfortable with showing seeing relating to and also any personal relationships in which you might be both veiled and unveiled at different times. So Salit will guide you with the movements, but we'll just stay facing the screen. In
relax, but just maintain this feeling of openness. The veils are open. Here I am. And notice how that feels. Notice any protectors that may be telling you it's not safe to show who you are. And you can reassure them by reminding them that you can pull down the veil any time you need to, but you can also raise the veil any time you want to. Inana Damuzi Amen. Amen. So I'm going to end with a dance which comes from the is inspired by the Hindu tradition Hindu tradition. And we're really attuning to these principles masculine, feminine, light and dark, left, right. Clockwise, anti-clockwise, <laughs> and um, how they come together, um, and they can come together in this time of year, particularly in the sense in this union, this creation of life. And um, here we're singing about two rivers which come together to form a third river. Can I just add something? You know, mm -hmm. it's it's one of it's part of the paradox of this world plane on which we live. You know, it's a world of duality. It's a world of this and that um, mm. polarity, if you like. But it's also a world of unity. So, it's about you know understanding these these extremes, these polarities, these uh, these differences, and then mm. understanding how they come together in a unity and that's mm. this very much what this dance is about and i guess we're often made up of polarities several different parts which form a whole and we're reaching towards that and we often have a natural um affinity with one end of a pole so um it'd be different for everybody you know some people um, for example, in the gender polarity might feel strongly male or female and other people might feel less so, more more somewhere on the spectrum between. So it's really, uh, this is about understanding our place in this, in this unity and understanding what the polarities might be that other people might be experiencing even if we don't experience them ourselves. And when these polarities come together, there there can be a, there can be wisdom. <laughs> there can be new birth. There can be a flash of inspiration, flash of enlightenment. I'm going to clap <laughs> in the dance when that happens. <laughs> Singing about the Ganges and the Yumna. Ganga ki jai jai. Ganga ki jai jai. Yumna ki jai jai. Yumna ki jai jai. Ganga ki jai jai. Ganga ki jai jai. Jai Jai Yumna Ki Jai Jai Let me clap <coughs> Sarasvati Trivani Ki Jai Jai Sarasvati Trivani Ki 
jai. So we sing that, that last phrase twice. On the first time we sing jai jai, and the last time we sing jai. And I'm not entirely sure the meaning of trivaniki, but I think it's about trivani. Trivani. Ki jai. Ki jai jai. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> trivani. <laughs> It's the I think it's the tree. It's the the the, tri the trinity. It's the bringing them together. Bringing them all together. Yeah. yeah. Three in one. Ganga ki jai jai yomna ki jai jai Ganga ki jai jai yomna ki jai jai Sarasvati Trivani. Sarasvati Trivani ki jai Ganga ki jai jai Yomna ki jai jai Ganga ki jai jai Yomna ki jai jai Sarasvati Trivani ki jai jai Sarasvati Trivani going to use our arms to be the two rivers that then clap to form the third in us in turn. So right arm snaking onwards like a river towards each other. Ganga ki jai Left arm. Yumna ki jai jai. Ganga ki jai jai, yumna ki jai jai. Then clap and turn to the right. Sarasvati trivani ki jai jai. Clap. So you turn the other way. Sarasvati trivani ki jai. Wonderful. Ganga ki jai jai, yomna ki jai jai, Ganga ki jai jai, yomna ki jai jai, Sarasvati trivani ki jai jai, 
May we find wisdom through completeness, integrating our different parts. Yeah, it's so beautiful to be reminded of that third way. When there's so much polarity around us, the, the third way of inclusion, of, of seeing the whole picture. Mm. The polarity is true and so is the other. So is the unity. Well, thank you for joining us for our Beltane celebration. Yes. A little bit late this year, but uh, it's always still good to mark the turning of the year. And uh, why don't we um, close with the goddess blessing? Mm. Everything lost is found again in a new form, in a new way. Everything hurt is healed again in a new time, in a new day. Change is, touch is, touch is, change is, Change us, touch us, touch us, change us, change us, touch us, touch us, change us, change us, touch us, touch us, change us. Beltane blessings.